Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. We're brought to you by our friends at the Navy Federal Credit Union. As the Navy women's tennis team heads toward the Patriot League tournament, certainly great momentum from recent results. And of course, a star win over Army. Parvati Shankar joins us right now. And par for you, your team right now, that win over Army, it's so exhilarating. It's so celebratory in itself. What's the key as a team to refocusing on the task at hand after you get such a great team victory, but obviously still work to do and goals that you all want to achieve? You know, I will say that the biggest part of it for us is the practice right after we play or after um, we play against Army. So that Monday following uh, the End Star game, our coach is always – um, he does a quick congratulations, like congratulations on your hard work. You guys really deserve this win. But as soon as he does that congratulation, he brings us back to the bigger picture of we are playing Boston next weekend. We are, uh, we do have Patriots and in two weeks, it's time to focus up and remember that it doesn't stop here. We have more things or bigger things to accomplish. So, The fact that you all have done this a couple of times, um, it, obviously, you don't want to you don't want to refer to it, you know, as, as something you assume you're going to do. But since it's something you all have handled uh, before as a player, you know, just for you individually, you know, what are the challenges as a player to refocusing and, and getting right back on that grind that, that has made you all uh, so successful as a program and obviously a tremendous culture within uh, your tennis program? Um, I will say that it is difficult to refocus because the army navy rivalry is so strong at our school it's stronger than any rival rivalry i've seen um the key for me to focusing is just every day in practice thinking about like putting it behind me kind of and just kind of thinking about what we have for the future so uh right after army we played bu and um the biggest one that of course we want to win badly is um is a patriot so just thinking about whenever we're doing drills during practice or we're doing practice matches, like the biggest thing for me is just keeping in mind, um, especially Patriots. Like that's the one that we're, we've been trying to get after for such a long time. Um, and that's, that is the main goal of ours. Like even all of our conference matches, including playing army and BU, like those are just stepping stones to um, Patriot league championships. Those are, that's what I keep in mind with me when I'm playing. With you and Kate, uh, in your mind, what is the key to chemistry uh, in doubles? And in, in your mind, what makes this partnership successful? Okay, so I have known Kate since, I think, since 12 years old, maybe even younger. <laughs> so we uh, were both from NorCal, and we both like grew up playing together. We had sleepovers at each other's houses. Um, we both played together at a team tournament uh, in high school, I think sophomore year. And... She, for us, I think we've known each other for such a long time and we were close in juniors, but now that we go to the academy together, we've become even closer, um, which I think is kind of rare on the team, having that like prior relationship. Like we all know of each other or kind of know each other through USCA tournaments, but, but having this like kind of close connection where you've been friends for such a long time, like prior to coming to the academy, I think, um, I think that's like a big part of our dynamic is like, we are old friends and um, we know that we always have each other's backs like on court, off the court or whatever. But I love the dynamic that I have with her. I think it's, it's super fun. It's very, it's very different. I think for like uh, tip, like the typical doubles teams. Can you put a value on the fact that this place is so different? It challenges you in so many ways just to have someone to lean on a little bit and lean on each other because you do have knowledge of each other, where you come from, you know, you can reference stuff maybe you've experienced in the past and things like that. Can you really put a, a true value on that thing? Because, you know, it, it takes so much to get through the everyday uh, challenges that uh, being a student athlete at the Division One level and particularly at the Naval Academy presents. Yeah, I think that's something that, like, is very important to our dynamic is the fact that like we have so many or so much in common from when we were juniors together. So we had, we're able to talk about, Oh, like 
I had I had lunch with her yet or dinner with her yesterday and we were talking about our friend from back home and uh what she was up to and her and what her brother was doing and like we have that connection that like makes it makes it super different so I don't think I don't know if you can put like a exact uh like trait or like like certain trait to how our dynamic is but it's just like it's just strong friendship in my opinion it's just like almost like sisterhood like the two of us like we're um we've had that connection for so long that it just like makes us a team together on the court yeah I think it's really cool yeah speaking of sisterhood a sister that obviously has played the game at the division one level uh as yeah. well just just how how dynamic has tennis been uh to your family and obviously you know for both of you uh being able to achieve division one status and, and play this at the highest level what's it been like to share that experience uh, with her it's been really cool I will say like my sister Priyanka um she she definitely I think has um not always liked tennis in the past but it's something that when she got to college and saw what the team environment was like it's something that like really inspired her more to continue to keep playing um but my we we started together she started before I did actually when we were I think she was four and I was five and uh we were able to you know become really really close because we had basically each other in Napa it's not a super big tennis community there so we hit together almost every day and um we were able to like grow it's it's interesting to see because both of us like now play d1 tennis and it's just interesting to see how our like journeys have come out together because both of us have really different styles of playing like extremely different styles of playing but um both of us are doing things that are playing tennis at a at a higher level just in different ways so i think it's really cool i think that's really cool too is um i went to see her yesterday she played uh, doubles at uh, St. Joseph's in, in Philadelphia. And it was just cool to see how, how far she's come as a, as a player, because, um, I haven't seen her play since, since high school. So I thought that was really, really awesome. Why Navy for you? So I found out about the Academy, my junior year of high school, and I did not know much about it at all. Um, uh, military academies are not something that a lot of kids in Napa Valley uh, know about. So I uh, got an email from Coach Ali and I responded just to see what it was like or what it was about. And then I did a little research of my own and a lot of what maybe was about aligned to what uh, I want to achieve in life and a lot of kind of the person I want to be. And I will say that I had a, I didn't get to do an actual recruiting visit here. So me, Sylvia and Kate um, didn't get to do our recruiting visits, like actually at the academy. I think Emily is the only one in our class to actually come here and see see the school. So Coach Ali took me on a two hour tour on FaceTime of the academy and she just showed me around like all, all over the school, which um, I thought was really cool. And then I talked to my dad about it and I said, uh, yeah, I just, I just had a FaceTime for two hours with Coach Allie, and she took me on like a recruiting visit. And he told he told me he was like, "Wow, that's um, I don't think any other coach has ever done that. Like, that's very very cool. That's, you know, she went the extra mile, and that then it clicked for me. Like, I want to be a part of a program where, you know, you have coaches who are doing stuff like that for you, and they continue both of them, both Coach Perrier and Coach Allie, continue to do that every day for all of us on the team. So. They are amazing folks, no doubt about it. Doesn't surprise me uh, in the least. Appreciate you taking so much time for us. Uh, continued success uh, to you and your teammates with goals uh, still to achieve out there. Appreciate the time today. Thank you so much.